Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I, um, I am now about welcome to race number 17 out of the, uh, 36 of the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. If you can see that, no, that's not a dream. Today, we, it's marked 15 years since we lost the Intimidator Dale Earnhardt. So this is one of his paint schemes that he drove before he turned to black and silver in 1988. This is the Wrangler paint scheme. And before I, t before, before I get started, I want you guys to think, what do you guys think of this paint scheme? Did I did one hell of a job or what? It looks just like it's the same paint scheme. I did one awesome job. It looked, now, it is absolutely perfect and it's ready for the race here for the quick for the Quaker State 400 here in Kentucky Speedway. So without further ado, let's get this game and get this show started. <clears throat> the Quaker State 400 at Kentucky Speedway is about to get ready for a 13 lap uh, race, possibly a possible chance to make a pit stop. If we get a yellow flag, probably we will because I might not be able, I don't want to run out of fuel like I did back at Michigan and uh, cost myself a race. So I start on the pole in that awesome number uh, Dale Earnhardt Wrangler paint scheme tribute. Hamlin starts second, Casey King third, and Jeff Gordon will start fourth. This is a old, this track wasn't featured in NASCAR Spring Cup until 2008. So this car, this race, this racetrack will be part of NASCAR Spring Cup for, for many, many years. But without further ado, let's get this game and get this show started. So here we go. Pace car about to be pulling off down the pit road. Getting ready. And the green flag is out. We're racing at Kentucky. A really good re a really good start for me. Trying to lead the opening lap, but here comes Biffle. And look at Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to move to the outside to take the lead away from me here in Kentucky. Trying to get my 10th one of the year. But look at Martin Truex. He wants to take the lead, but my car but I got a good run on the bat on the outside of the off of turn four, and I lead the very first lap. So five bonus, so a bonus point for, for me for leading a lap. With Brad Keselowski running in second, and the Penske bunch between uh, Brad Keselowski and Joe Logano second and third, with Truex running fourth. By the way, if you guys think this paint scheme looks incredible, make sure you give a comment on this video and tell me what you guys think if I did one hell of a job on the uh, Dale Earnhardt tribute. That looks really cool. Eleven laps to go here in Kentucky. I'm going to try to stay out as much as I can without pitting. But it is going to be a close one as Martin Truex goes to second. And now, well, now let's now change that back to third. Biffle to fourth. Harvick was running up near the top four. But it looks like he lost a lot of momentum. And now I'm already on the outside. My car not turning. And that's bringing Brad Keselowski right onto my back bumper already which is 10 laps to go I got a good run but Brad Keselowski is not going to let me go I mean I know I got myself into the chase I got more wins than anybody on the sit in the season so at least, so no matter what, I'm in the chase. No matter what happens, even, but I must maintain a top 30 in points in order to make it into the championship uh, chase for the Sprint Cup in less than 10 races from now. So 10 more races before the cutoff, before the chase, as pit stops have begun. And Brad Keselowski just got onto the back of my car, and here he comes to the inside on the outside to take the lead. As we are about to approach. <coughs> which is eight laps to go, and now pit stops have begun for the drivers in the back of the field. And if that's the case, I will have to pit, too, so I know I can make it without running out of fuel 
and Harvick is up the fourth. Let's go on board with me and show you what I how I <coughs> get off the corner. I hit the clutch and then I hit the gas just as I'm about to hit the middle of the corner so I can get a good runoff. But that's bringing Biffle right with right on my bumper with seven to go. <coughs> Knowing a possible slight chance I might have to pit, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to save all this fuel so I can make it to the check and flag without running out of fuel. But the real question is, can I win here in Kentucky and win it for the man who I call the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt, <coughs> who lost this like 15 years ago this year, so... This year, will be, I'm going to be honoring him every third month of, the, of this year to salute the man in black, Mr. Dale Earnhardt, every third day of the month till the end of the year to honor his memory when he was sadly taken away from us in that 2001 crash that took his life, the same track he won three years prior to his death back in 1998. Five to go. Now I'm gonna get up. Now I'm gonna hit the clutch before I hit the corner, so that way I can get off easy. And now I'm gonna lose. I'm not gonna use much throttle. I'm gonna try to use less throttle so I can save enough fuel and make it to the end. I don't need to worry about, you know, these guys that are in front of me. I'm just worried about the guys behind me because if they come in. Well, then I'm going to have to make sure I don't be the one to come down pit road while leading as we're coming to four to go this time. And if that is the case, I will have to throw a yellow flag out so I know I can make it on fuel. Otherwise, I'm going to try to stay out as long as I can here, at, here in Kentucky. Oh, I got into the back of Josh Wise. I have to get off the gas. And Brad Keselowski about to take the lead. And here we come, the three to go. The drivers that were running near the front are probably going to be going to lap down because they pitted a little sooner than we expected but I'm not gonna try to stay I'm not gonna try to pit I'm gonna try to stay out as long as I can with the fuel I got here's like here as I come down to take the two take two laps to go the next flag I want to see is the white flag not the yellow flag I might have enough fuel but I'm gonna do one more lap around and then the last lap I'm just gonna let it go just run it out until I cannot run it no more These guys are now lapped down, and now I pulled away from Biffle. And here we come. White flag, one lap to go at Kentucky. Trying to get my 10th one of the year. And more importantly, trying to win at Kentucky with this Wrangler paint scheme that Dale wrote, that Dale uh, ridden. For many, many years before he decided, before he got the black and silver colors. And I'm going to do it. And the checkered flag is out. Career win number 10 comes to Kentucky. I win the Quaker State 400 at Kentucky Speedway. Now that is what I call a dominant. I let every lap. I win the race. I won from the pole. But more importantly, I pretty much increased that points lead, and I did one hell of a job on the paint job, and not even a scratch. So that's the good thing. So I get to salute Dale Earnhardt with this incredible, incredible, incredible win. Win number 10. And I didn't even have to make a pit stop. The guys that did pit, well, and now I'm going to... Now that's a burnout. That was awesome. That was actually a clean race, despite losing the lead for about a couple of times, but otherwise no one couldn't stop me. 
So my first, first win in Kentucky, and career win number 10 of my career this year. I am just four wins away of beating Jeff Gorn for the modern record of most wins and trying to make history. And there it is. I win the race. So pure dominance. I led every lap. Truex, Jr., Johnson, Kane, the top five, Gordon, Stewart, Kenseth, Newman, and Biffle, who actually fell back and finished 10. So, and Danny Hamlin was the fastest car on the track, but did not win the race. And I'm not going to run down the entire field. The only car that was left on the lead lap was Carl Edwards, and he was 29, 29.06 seconds, which means I was about two seconds away from putting him one lap down. But that really doesn't matter because I'm the winner at Kentucky. So anyway, uh, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, that was an incredible uh, race. I win the race. I win it in one of the most legendary paint schemes that Dale drove before he got the GM Goodhart sponsor from 1988 to 2001, which was very, very incredible, by the way. So... And there is the point. There you see it. 10 wins, 13 poles, and 13 top 10s. All the drivers that have a win, such as Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Norton, Dale Jr., Brad Kozlowski, Tony Stewart, those two still need to, a win. Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, all in, that's nine. Matt Kenseth's got no win. And the only driver that has a win but is not in the t chase, he has to maintain a top 30 points uh, position in the owner in the points, and that's Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse who got his first win at, back in Texas, and Trevor Bain, who won I believe the Coke 600. I think I really can't remember which one of those which one of those races he won at, and then all the way back. The last car to remain is uh, Joe Nemechek. The last car in last place on of the points. And there's a brand new sponsor that I've just got a new... I got a brand new sponsor, so Tornado's uh, uh, Quesadilla Rolls will be on my paint, on my nap, my race car uh, the next time I see you, which will be at Daytona. And uh, re, I'm going to renew that contract so I can keep that sponsor at least until net till the end of the year so uh so yeah that's basically it so that's pretty much gonna end that this race and uh, like i said you know i did one heck of a job so if you guys think about this what do you guys think about this uh, paint job i did give me a comment on this video and uh tell me what you guys think of this incredible paint job to honor the intimidator dale earnhardt and uh and i do have a surprise i will i do have two other paint schemes that one of them he's driven before his death, and then the car, and then another paint scheme that Kevin Harvick uh, decided to uh, drive before, after his death. So, so I hope you guys understand it. But that's gonna be coming up later. But I will not. But it may be happening in the second season of NASCAR 14. We'll see. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this race. So don't forget to smash that like button. Please subscribe and uh, comment on the video below. And uh, also make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and if you want to, check my Facebook as well for any updates, hopefully. If not, then just my Instagram and Twitter. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your incredible day. And in the words of LA Beast, have a good day.